Good afternoon, everybody. It is Monday, July the 20th today. And uh, I'm back doing another uh, video today for my YouTube channel. And my name is Gwen and uh, welcome. Welcome back. And welcome if you're new and watching. I've had I've had about 15 new subscribers in the last couple of days, so that was uh, wonderful. I got a few things that I need to show you today. I've been actually pretty busy. We had uh, grandsons here on the weekend and we were able to celebrate, uh, have a family gathering to celebrate uh, Chase's grad. So that went over good and uh, we had a really really nice visit with all of them. I had a four hour tag along um, drive yesterday so I got four hours of stitching in while I was going to keep uh, my husband company while we drove one of the grandsons home because he had to go back to work today. So, I got a few new things. I have, uh, I'll show you some new things that I got in the mail from the Cotton Harvest Quilt Shop, my favorite store. Trina has, uh, sent me some really, really nice stuff. I got some ribbons, some train, trainway silks, desert green, and crimson glory, and eucalyptus bark. And oh my goodness, these things are, I just couldn't stop stroking them when I got them in. They were, they just feel so rich. Really, really nice. I'm going to use those to do some practicing with the um, Sue Sparkle stitching. And I also, she also sent me a, uh, show you this first some woven's fabric and oh my goodness it's beautiful I don't even I you know what I haven't even I'm not even gonna I don't know if you can see it close up or not see the woven's in it the patterns in it I'll tell you the pictures on her Facebook, do not do this justice. It's beautiful. I don't even know what I'm going to cut. I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it because it's that nice. So when I do cut it, it's going to be for a pretty special project. And it's probably going to be for a project that's going to go in my house. Most likely it'll be cushions. Uh, I'll be doing something with those but oh my goodness they feel nice and they look really nice and then she was good enough to I sent her the numbers of colors that I needed for a cross stitch chart that uh, I ordered these are really nice colors and I can't even show you the cross stitch um, chart or pattern that I ordered because I still haven't received it. I don't know if it's just because of where I live or if everybody is having the same problem, but I don't have a cross stitch. We live really out in the middle of nowhere. So I don't have a cross stitch store or access to uh, to be able to walk into a store and kit uh, a project 
I wish I did, but uh, I don't, so I have to rely on ordering. And I'm really having a hard time getting, um, I shouldn't say I'm not having a hard time purchasing, I'm having a hard time waiting for them to come in. And uh, the shipping times are really, really slow for some reason. I, it seems like I can ship faster out than I can get things in. So I was really looking forward to this chart, but um, I had to order the chart from one place and then I had to order linen from another place. And then I had to order um, the threads that I needed for uh, to stitch the chart. And uh, bless her heart, Trina from the Cotton Harvest quilt shop is the fastest. She got here first. <laughs> So I don't know when I'm going to get the charts and I don't know when I'm going to get linen to be able to go down that rabbit hole of cross stitching again. But uh, I'm just going to have to hold off and wait. But Trina was also kind enough to throw me in some uh, needles. These are for quilt binding, quilt binding needles. So thank you very much. I will certainly be using those. So that was one order that I got in and I can always count on her to ship that as fast, fast as I can order it. Another pattern that I saw, oh man, I saw this pattern on um, Brenda and the Serial Stitchers. They have a YouTube channel, though. they're one of my favorite. Uh, people to to watch on YouTube and she showed this project this uh, heirloom stitching sampler and I quickly ran and bought it and I was able to print off a uh, PDF copy so it's oh my goodness you'll have to go and watch her YouTube ch their YouTube channel and uh, look at how beautiful it is but it's uh, I just can't even wait to get started on that it's gonna have some a few different stitches in there I didn't print it off in color I just printed it off in black and white for now but I ordered some linen to stitch that and unfortunately I can't find a, a thread kit they're all sold out so I'm gonna have to go through take the time and go through here and figure out what it is that I need and then I'm going to have to order piece by piece so it's going to take me a long time I think to kit this. I don't know if it's just the pandemic or if it's um, uh, there's just that many um, people ordering that it's so busy in the shops that it's taking a long time to to ship things out but it's going to be I think a long time before I I'm able to kit this I'm hoping I can find a thread kit somewhere for it a package because there's also some beads and some specialty threads that I need for that that pattern so what else did I do I oh I also I was waiting for a while for this, but I think she uh, she wasn't feeling well. So I finally got it, but my goodness, was it worth the wait. It's from Chelsea Buns. And she is a Canadian store, I believe. I believe she's out of Ontario. Yes, she has a store in Ontario. A little shop. And uh, I saw these and they caught my eye. And I just 
just had to order them. She packaged this up really, really nice. But oh my God, was this worth the wait? Really nicely packaged. Look at that. Those are so pretty, I almost just want to frame them, never mind use them. They looked really nice when I seen them on the, look at the pattern on them. I love scissors. I'm a scissor nut. You know what I have to do now? I have to find, I have to find some scissor charms to hang on these. So I'll be searching for those. There's some really nice scissor charms out there too, but isn't that beautiful? I don't, I'm, I, uh, I'll be, I'll use them. Cause I, when I buy stuff like this, I use them. But I would sure like to frame them. <laughs> really pretty, really pretty. And that was from uh, Chelsea Buns. And she has a, uh, she has a Facebook group. And that's where I found these really really nice and she also threw in some little needle threaders some little butterflies so those are really cute too i go through lots of those i like to throw one in each of the um, project bags so that i have one when i need it but i got some nice little ribbon i'll put those that she packaged it in i'll put those into uh my little basket here and use those for something else. But really, really nicely packaged. And I didn't have to wait too long for that. But beautiful, beautiful scissors. These are going in my scissor bucket. And what else? Okay, what else? Oh. This is what I've been busy working on. I designed a new bag to hold all my needles, all my Sue Sparkle needles, and all, all the needles that I have my, for hand stitching and stuff. I hung on, to these, hung on to these for a long time and I thought I need to design a bag to fit all my needles in so that I'm, they're all in one spot instead of just being in a little basket or shoved into a bag and disorganized. So what I decided to do, and I'm glad I did, is I made this bag. I put quilt batting behind the elastic so that if I have loose needles, I can just put them in the batting and anything that's in a package, I have a spot to put it in. So this, I actually took it yesterday on the, uh, the four hour road trip that I went on yesterday. I had my free noodles that Trina gave me. I actually took this, put it in my project bag because I wasn't sure which needle I was going to be using and what stitching I was going to do. So I put it in there, I was able to fold it up, fit right in my project bag. So they're nice and safe and they're all there so whatever size I need it's coming with me so I'm gonna make up a couple more of these bags and I'll probably put them up for sale on my uh, <clears throat> Etsy shop um, maybe within the next couple of weeks so you can watch for that and I made myself a couple of masks because uh, I want to make sure if we're going out in the public, if I'm going into a store or something, that I have a mask to wear. So I made myself a couple of masks and uh, I've used one already when I went to go get my, uh, my feet done. And what else have I got? 
what I worked on yesterday, look at how much stuff I shoved into this bag. <laughs> I quickly just decided at the last minute that I'm going to uh, um, go on that trip yesterday because I thought, oh, I'll go just keep my husband company and do some stitching while I'm sitting in the vehicle. But uh, I'm glad I did, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to work on. I figured oh, I got a couple of projects in this bag. I shoved everything in here and uh, away I went. <laughs> I fit a lot of stuff in there. I had my thread, my uh, pattern, and this is what I was working on. I think I, I showed you this a long time ago. Let's take it out of the plastic so I can get it clear. I did that up quite a while ago and I'm almost done. I just have the leaves to do and then it's finished. So that, that turned out nice. So that's what I did for four hours while I was sitting in the vehicle keeping him company little road trip between hitting all the potholes so I'll probably finish that up tonight and then uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna frame that or I'm thinking I might make a small cushion or let me make a small cushion for this out of this instead of frame, framing it to, to hang up. I think that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I did yesterday. And oh, I also did this yesterday. This is parsley. I have a herb garden in the back, and this is what's left. I used quite a bit of it already, but this is dried. It's already dried, and look how nice and fresh and green it is. It's dried parsley. I went out today, and I picked two pailfuls of herbs, and they're going into the uh, dehydrator tonight I'm just letting them I just finished washing them before I started the video and so I put them out on a towel to just to take the excess water off and I'm gonna put them in the dehydrator after my video and get them drying I want to dry as I, my herbs are really growing like crazy this year I don't know if it's all the moisture and the heat or what it is but uh, they're really growing like crazy. So I'm going to get a lot of herbs this year so that I'm going to dry them all and keep them for the, the winter when I can't use because I can't use them up fast enough. So I figured I'll start drying them and keep them for the winter. Put them in jars. And uh, this is the other thing that I did. I designed another bag, another project bag. So this is the where you the one compartment and then I made another compartment with a peekaboo compartment. I was kind of thinking about this for a while I'm thinking I'm not sure how I'm going to do it but I sat down one day and just uh, came up with a a design. I'm going to make a couple more of these too, probably within the next couple of weeks, and I'll put them on my Etsy shop for sale. But this one, I'm going to do a giveaway for my YouTube channel. So, if you would like to enter,
You have to be a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And what word will I use? I'll use the word, um, I'll use the word project bag. So if you can write something on in the comments on my YouTube channel with project bag in it, I will draw at my next video to see who wins this bag. I think this is going to be a pretty popular bag and I think it's going to be a pretty handy bag. So if you're interested in winning this bag, then you have to subscribe to my channel and comment somewhere on the ch in the comments. You have to use the word project bag. And then I'll draw this probably in a week or so when I do another video to see who wins it. And I'll get it out to you. And the other thing I wanted to say is I've had a few people, when I package up my, my um, bags to mail out for, uh, from my Etsy store, I use this paper, this brown craft paper. And it, I've had a few comments saying that they really like this paper for packaging, and uh, I really like it too, but I just wanted to let people know, if you're interested, that uh, we have a paper mill here in the PAW. They make craft paper, and this is the paper that they make, and I like to use it because you can recycle it, but... Uh, my husband works at the paper mill. He's the paper mill specialist. And I think they use this paper for a lot of things. Uh, maybe shopping bags, cement bags. They make different grades of it. So depending on what um, grade, I guess, is to what they use it for. But it's very strong. So it's perfect for packaging things up and mailing them out. I use it to, I make gift bags and everything. He, he actually brought me a test roll, so I, I have enough to last me probably a lifetime. Um, so I use it for everything. I wrap, make gift bags, I wrap parcels that get uh, sent out. I use it for drawing on. It's uh, got a lot of uses. So. If you're wondering, that's where the, the paper is from. And they sell it all over the world. It's their major industry here in the Paw. One of our major, well, it is the only major industry. We have colleges and stuff here too that employ a lot of people, but it's one of the, the industries here in the Paw that's been running for probably since 1973, I think. So it's been going for many years. And my husband's worked there since 1974, I believe. He's worked there for a long time, but he's gonna be retiring soon. Next June, he says, but he keeps changing that date. So we'll see. <laughs> but what else did I work on? I made this little I made a few of these to use for gifts, but they're uh, they're perfect for when you're sitting around stitching. You use it for a little pin cushion. It's got a little pocket for my scissors. So I made I think I made about eight of these one day, and I filled them with um, filled them with uh, crushed walnut shells. So they, they feel good. They're nice. And they're handy. And I throw those in the pot in my project bag too. So it's, uh, I put it on the, yesterday I had it sitting on the council of the car so I knew where my needle 
was and just had my scissors hanging in there so they weren't falling down anywhere but uh what else oh i finished my home wall hanging it's completely done and i decided i'm going to hang it there because i can't figure out where i want to hang it out to the, the spot that i thought i was going to hang it in in the living room um, didn't work out because it's too wide so it fits perfectly there so for now it's going to stay there but I need to figure out another spot where I can put it out in my in the living space in the house so that uh, people can actually see it so I just have the one more December to kit up and stitch that goes into the center and uh then I need to order a couple more months worth to, uh, so I can just continue making each month as they, as I get them done. So I have one for every month. So I'm going to have to order some more of those from the, um, some more months of those from the Country Harvest Cool Shop. Next time I put in an order. I ended up putting this so I can, see if I can move the camera there my little pumpkin placemat here I ended up hanging it back up there because my mom's cat which we inherited when uh, she passed away will not leave that mat alone <laughs> I, I actually put it she doesn't normally go on the table and stuff because we don't feed her scraps so uh, if she's on the table and the cupboards it's whenever we're sleeping and uh, I don't trust that she isn't up there so I make sure I wash the cupboards and stuff on a regular basis before I use them for baking just in case but we don't feed her scraps so she doesn't really bother too much in the kitchen but the minute I put that on the table uh, I don't know if it's the wool or what it is, but she wants to roll on it. And uh, she even slept on it one night, the first night I put it, or the first day I put it out on the table. I got up in the morning, there was a big pile of cat hair on it. So I had to clean all that off. And then uh, I tried to put it there during the day. And even while I'm sitting there, she's trying to get on the table and, and play on it. So. I ended up just taking it and <laughs> hanging it back the, on the wall because I don't want her uh, getting the cat hair all over it. I don't know what it did. But it must just be the wool because she doesn't bother anything, anything else. She has her own cat bed and stuff that she normally sleeps on there or she sleeps on a chair. So I'll hang it there where it's safe for now. <laughs> Other than that, I uh, I don't have much else to talk about. I think I showed you just about everything that I wanted to show you today. I've got, um, I said last video that I was gonna post a list of some of my favorite YouTube channels that I, I keep up with. And as soon as they load one, I quickly try and find the time to go and watch them. But my favorite ones are the Stitch Roadies, the uh, Brandon the Serial Starter, and uh, Stitching with Friends, Salt Box Stitcher, and uh, my favorite one right now is probably Brandon the Serial Starter because I feel like I'm, I can identify with the, the both of them, <laughs> but I'm having a hard time being a serial starter for cross stitch because I'm having a hard time getting some stash from uh, from the cross stitch shops to be able to uh, start some projects. So I'm a serial starter without anything to start with, I guess. <laughs> but it'll come eventually. So I'm going to end it there and uh, I'll probably see you again maybe by the end of next week because we're going to go camping. So sometime the end of next week I'll check in and see that 
how many people we've got to uh, make a draw for this uh, really nice bag. And uh, so again, you have to be a subscriber and you have to comment somewhere in the comments. You have to write something that has project bag in it and I will pick a winner the next video. So until then, everybody stay safe and uh, keep st stitching and keep uh, making YouTube videos so that us stitchers have something to watch in our off time. <laughs> and uh, everybody behave yourself and uh, I'm hoping I get some stitching supplies the next time I I talk to you and check out that uh, Chelsea buns and see what she's got for scissors she's got some really nice scissors I actually put it in a, an order for a couple more pair that caught my eye today and of course check out the uh, cotton harvest quilt shop she has a a Facebook page too. Beautiful, beautiful store. I hope to get there one day. So anyway, everybody take care and thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Subscribe, share, invite your friends. I will leave in a link, uh, a link with all the cross stitch um, floss tube channels that I watch. I'll leave a link for my Etsy shop and if the link doesn't work, just message me and I'll try and send it to you. I'm still learning some of this uh, computer jargon. So I'm having a little bit of trouble being able to post uh, links and getting them to work. So just message me if you're having trouble. I'll put my email address in the, the link as well and, and I'll get you whatever you need. So take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.